Hi, my name is Adil Khan. I'm a lifelong teacher and principal and the founder of Magic School. And I'm so excited because today we're launching our special partnership with Adobe to bring AI image generation right into Magic School for both educators and students. And I'm here to demo it for you today to see all the possibilities of image generation in Magic School. So right on my screen, you're gonna see that image generator icon in the top left of your dashboard right when you log in. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna see some sample images, and I'm also gonna see the prompts that created those images to get inspired here. I can click text to image to generate a brand new image with a prompt like I see above, or I can upload my own image and use AI tools to edit that image and make it even better. But in this case, I'm gonna do the classic text to image and use generative AI to create a new image. And I wanna create an image for this special partnership launching at ISTE right here in Denver, Colorado, which is where Magic School is, is based. Um, I wanna make an image about ISTE. So generate an image of educators who are learning at a conference center in Denver, Colorado. Uh, and I'm gonna click generate. And we're going to get four different images that we can choose from based on the prompt. Uh, I said educators learning at a conference center in Denver, and it's going to generate pretty quickly. Adobe's done a great job of making this zippy. Um, and this is awesome. So I see an image down here of uh, educators at a conference center with like these big windows, and it looks like there's Denver's, Denver there in the background. I'm going to click that image because I like it the most and save to Magic School. I'm going to name it ISTE. Denver and save and I'm going to see it appear in magic school and I can download this and just use it as is but you know there's something I want to change about this image so I'm going to click edit in Adobe Express to jump right back into Adobe but in this case it's the editor not creating a new image but editing with AI and one of my favorite tools is this generative fill tool where I can make my brush size larger and then I can select something that I want to change. And you know, I don't want educators looking out a window because that's not what they'd be doing at a conference. I want them uh, watching a presentation on a projector learning because that's what you're all coming to ISTE to do, to learn about technology and education. Uh, and I'm gonna click generate and it's gonna see what I highlighted and it's gonna replace it with a presentation on a projector of educa for educators learning and, and it looks like that's exactly what it did. So now it's a whole new setting, but it looks more like what I want, which is educators learning at ISTE. I'm gonna click done, save to magic school, and it's gonna save my project. And now right in that same thread where I created the original image, I'm gonna see the second image uh, that was created right beneath it. So I can see what I started with and then what I edited and how it changed to a conference center of educators learning. And that's how you use the image generator in Magic School. You could also launch the image generator to students. And this is so exciting because uh, students will get that same ability to be creative with AI. I'm gonna call this Adobe Room, launch a new room, click next. And I'm gonna find my Adobe image generator tool. And I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna launch the room. And just like any other room in Magic School, I can share the join URL, I can try to share a join code, I can add it as an announcement into my Google Classroom and students will join right at that link. And as the students join the room with their join link, uh, I'll see them appear here. And also as they're using Adobe's image generator tool, just the way that I just used it myself, uh, I'm gonna get to see the images, the images that they generated live on my screen so I can monitor the way they're using it in addition to giving them feedback on how they can use it even better and spur their creativity in this whole new modality with image generation. We can't wait to see the, the ways that you use this in the classroom uh, for both yourself and uh, the image generator as well as the way you use it with students to spur their creativity. And there are so many possibilities now with AI images in Magic School. We hope you love it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you at ISTE.